Yo, what up, what's poppin'? It's me, Josh O2 Sanya, here again in this video. We're gonna talk about what I learned from open relationships. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I give you my final verdict on what I think about open relationships. And will I ever do one? Now these days, open relationships are trending. If you don't know what an open relationship is, it's when you're in a relationship with somebody, but you're allowed to see and have sexual relations with other people too. Goodness gracious. Like to me, that's wild. I can't imagine kissing my girlfriend my hypothetical girlfriend. And then just being like, hey babe, I'm gonna step out real quick. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, I'm just gonna finish this threesome real quick. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, yeah. Open relations have been kind of taboo for a while, mainly because the idea of monogamy is so traditional. I mean, it's what we've always been taught. You're gonna grow up, you're gonna find a spouse, you're gonna come together, you're gonna never separate from each other, and you're gonna have some kids, and they're gonna grow up and do the same thing. Now, like I said, open relations are so popular now, and I've actually had a few friends get into open relationships, so I've got to witness and see it firsthand. I'm gonna be honest, there are a few things I've learned that are kind of interesting. For example, I've learned that sex and love are not necessarily related. We like to act like sex is love or love is sex. Nah, like you can really love someone and not have sex with them or, or, or vice versa, if that makes sense. Like sex and love are not necessarily the same thing. Sex can be added onto love, like the cherry on top, but open relationships really hammer in the fact that you're two individuals with your own likes, preferences, and sexual needs, whatever that may be, or your own happiness. All right, now let's get a little bit deeper here. Now, from what I've observed, open relationships seem to be more transparent. You can actually have an open relationship with open communication, real open communication. Let's look at it like this. If you're in a closed relationship and you find someone else attractive, right? You're, you're not gonna, you're not really gonna tell your, your significant other that. That's kind of a secret you keep to yourself. If someone's turning you on, or there's a coworker at work that you're really attracted to for whatever reason. And that secret's bubbling up within you and your little crush or whatever on this other coworker. And you don't want your significant other to know because you don't want them to worry for whatever reason. You wanna spare yourself that drama because you're like, no, I got this, I got this. Now let's say God forbid you start cheating. Now you have this secret between you and this coworker that you're keeping away from your significant other. Let's take this another step. Let's go another layer deeper. Let's say the situation you're cheating on your significant other and it's very sexual relationship. If your significant other is sleeping with someone else and it's a closed relationship, you have no clue what's going on. It's a secret that they're trying to keep away from you. And not only are you not aware of what they're doing behind their back, but you also don't know what you're doing wrong or what you're not adding to your partner sexually or emotionally, whatever it is that that other person's providing. Because they're keeping it all a secret. But let's say it's open, it is open. You're having open communications, candid communications about what you like and what you don't like. So let's say you're the person you're with or you're dating is sleeping with someone else and they're doing things in the bedroom that you never do, but they really enjoy that, whoa, now you can just incorporate uh, what that person's doing to make your significant other so happy. You incorporate that into your game. Now your, your sexual relations with your significant other are through the roof. One of my friends was in an open relationship. He actually still is in one. But he talks about how they both just give each other the free range. Like his girl will be like, man, go, go, go hook up with that girl, whatever. And he'll go out and he'll go do things with other women. He'll go have sex with other women. But it's it's like he can't stop thinking about his girl. Like he can't stop thinking about his girlfriend. He's, he's in love with her. So it's like the physical aspect is there, but the emotional aspect is, it's like two separate things. Now, if you ask me, I would try an open relationship. However, it would have to start that way. So I can't be already in a monogamous, committed relationship with a woman, and then out of nowhere, like, yeah, let's let's do open relationship for a month. Nah, I'm already too deep, already too emotionally involved, get too, you know, all up in my feelings. Nah, I couldn't do it personally. But if I meet someone off the jump and we talk about it, we're like, why don't we just start open? Then yeah, we could probably do it that way. But the idea of open relationships, it really hammers in this question I've always had, and that is, are humans really meant to be monogamous? Because if you ask me, if we're meant to be monogamous, if we're wired to be monogamous, then when you get married, when you're in a relationship, when you're all committed or whatever, there should be some function within the brain or something that immediately makes you unable to be attracted to anyone else around you. Like there should be some biological thing that's like, yo, I, I can't even, I don't even think anyone else is even remotely attractive. I just can't be turned on by anyone else. Humans in general can be turned on by other people even when they're married. Even though I prefer monogamy, right? I, that's just what, what I know, what I'm used to. I do think 
that the idea of monogamy was probably put into place because it's better for society as a whole. It may not be better for certain individuals, but I think society as a whole, it's better because think about it. You can't just have a bunch of babies being born with no family, just <laughs> babies all over the place being made and, and born, but all these, there's no real family structure. Like those kids, society thrives off of the idea of monogamy in a stable household. One of the hardest parts for me about the idea of open relationships is that you need to have an incredible amount of self-trust, self-belief. Can you imagine you're with your significant other and you're gonna just be cool w watching them walk out and go hook up or, or, ha or experience another person and trust that you are cool enough and dope enough of a person that they're still gonna wanna come back? Snap! In the comment section down below, let me know what are your thoughts on open relationships and would you ever try out an open relationship? Let me know. For more videos, click over here. What you waiting on? Click, click, click. You know, in high school, I really wanted the approval of the cool kids to feel important. In college, I wanted the approval of all the women. But then after I graduated college, I realized, yo, trying to spend so much time trying to find the approval of other people is a waste of 